Okay, folks, here's a fun little video. This is um, our new magnetic encoder picking up uh, the position of this huge motor um, using a magnet that's been glued to the back of the fan, which is a, a part of the back of the motor. Um, it's being driven by our new um, DC motor driver here. Could have been driven by any of a thousand different DC motor drivers. And it's being controlled by our little PID controller right here. Um, the cool thing about this is that the PID controller is today getting its step and direction inputs from a standard ramps board uh, on an Arduino Mega, which is getting commands by a USB from my computer, which I will attempt to show you without dropping everything here, which is running your standard prompter face user interface. It thinks it's printing out some G-code, which is why we're getting all these interesting motions here. Um, as you can see, it's running back and forth, keeping time nicely, as if there was an x-axis attached to the uh, other end of the motor shaft. Um, if there was, and, and if I had a, a, a z and a, and a y axis hooked up with similar setups, um, you know, off of each one of these uh, ports here, or connectors here, then I could have an absolutely massive 3D printer running um, under servo control instead of steppers. So um, right now I'm only running at 12 volts because uh, I'm just, you know, doing testing here. Uh, but this motor is capable of um, 1.75 horsepower. Uh, this driver is limited to about a half a horsepower, but, you know, again, larger ones are available. But still, a half a horsepower uh, running off your standard Ramps Marlin um, from 3D printer software. That's uh, pretty darn cool, huh? Especially when you consider that the price of all of the electronics that are making this possible, not including the Ramps and this, is uh, going to be around 40 bucks in kit form. Available soon. Thanks for watching.